What's up guys, Steve's RC here for a uh, interesting video. I know this is not normal for me, but I wanted to make a quick video for those of you that own Karsten Lindy forklifts for any of, if you're into 14 scale trucks, uh, I've got a Cascadia I'm working on here. Sorry for the messy bench guys. I just wanted to make a quick video because I had to get this boxed up and sent back to my dad this week. This is his, um, his, his Lindy forklift, Karsten Lindy forklift. And as, if you know about these, they're great. Um, you know, they're used on the Loading Wars show if you watch RC Sparks. Uh, it's a good little forklift. It's kind of expensive, but super cheap compared to like the hydraulic stuff. That said, the radio system kind of sucks. Um, so I went ahead and threw a Spectrum radio system. This from my dad. He was complaining that, you know, he didn't have great resolution in the sticks to go forward and back or the forks up and down. He really just didn't want to keep knocking over pallets when he was in a situation where he's picking up stuff and didn't want this thing to jitter back and forth. So now with a Spectrum radio system, he's a million times more in control of his model. So as you can see, I've got this thing apart and I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. First things first, I picked up these small 20 or 30 amp, I forget now, on Amazon. These speed controls, they're brush speed controls. They're designed for like crawlers or tanks, I guess. Uh, they're very hard to find. If these ever get stopped, nobody really makes brush speed controls anymore, which is kind of funny. Um, but they're hard to find, but Amazon has them. They're like 12 bucks a piece. Scoop them up if you need them. Um, they're great. They seemingly work great. Um, I've got it all plugged in to my AR620 here. And then I've got all the wires. I figured out, you know, obviously wires coming from the front to the forks. You've got this motor here, which runs the mast. If you look at it for like five minutes, you'll figure out where everything is. You'll, you're going to rip out. There's switches over here for like the lights and the sound. Those switches then come out. I've added weight here for my dad. I've added weight here for my dad. And I've added a ton of weight on the back where the servo is held so that he has a lot of weight in the back. This thing weighs like a half a pound. Um, so that's cool. So you're going to hook up all your brush speed controls to the motor wires. And I know this is a mess and I'm not being super clear here, but you can kind of see here's your forks. Um, this is your, I had, to, I had to fix that. This is uh, your, your mast wire. And then this is actually the, um, the forks up and down. This is the mast. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, you'll figure it out. <laughs> I promise you'll figure it out. It's doable. Cut the little plugs off, get it all soldered into, you know, hook one up, run it, see which thing it controls. It's honestly how I did it. I hooked up a speed control. I ran whatever it was on my, you know, I plugged in the channel one, I ran the throttle up and down and it moved the, you know, the mass. I was like, all right, cool. I know what that speed control is. And I marked it. So once you mark all those, you're good. Now, the cool thing here, guys, that saved me, I, don't, I can't tell you how many hours is when you pull the servo bucket or whatever you want to call this off, there's a five pin servo, which you can't use, obviously. But I went ahead and installed a high tech and I can't see it. Hold on. This is a high tech HS82. High tech HS82. Guess what, guys? The horn that came with the model, the servo horn fits like perfectly. All I had to do was go to Ace Hardware and grab a little longer screw so that I can actually make it work with the high tech system. All I did then was 3M sticky tape this servo in center the servo horn, and guess what? You just plop it in back in here, and now you have your servo installed, which saves a ton of time because you don't have to go hunting for horns and make some device up here. You still have the servo saver and all that, um, so it's super cool. I really did appreciate finding that. Um, I was pretty happy with that. Last thing I want to show you is um, the last mod I made for my dad. So. There is a bit of just poor engineering or I guess safety for them that they built into this thing. But if you see where I ground away at these little tips here, the reason is is because when you steer, you know, you actually, they're a lot wider when you get this thing out of the box. It's honestly like there. I was able to clean up all that and look how much more steering I get now in both directions. You can probably take off more. I know you can take off more. Uh, if you want to get super fancy, but then you start colliding in other spots, uh, especially like up here, you start crashing that tire out. So you can only get so much out of it. But I will say now this thing turns not on a dime, but it turns a heck of a lot better than what it turned before. So that's a quick, easy steering mod. Um, the servo drops right in. So high tech HS82, that drops right in there. I added a bunch of weight. You don't have to. You take all your speed controls, you toss it back in there, and 